Mr. Mr. Puff, Puff, it's your, your turn. turn. Cool. Yo, 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 folks. Welcome to another video. I haven't posted a video in a while. So I'm doing a new one for you today. And for those of you who own or you're planning to buy a song bar for your TV, I may or I may not recommend this one. I've got this like a few days ago. But in a few days, man, about a week or two. And I've tried it, I've tested it, and I'm here to give my honest opinion about it. All right, whether I recommend it or not. So basically, me, I go tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So as you can see, this is the Sony HT X8500 Songbar, and it comes with some pretty cool features, you know. Yeah, man, as you can see, it has Dolby Atmos. It has Dolby Vision, all these features, DTS, Digital X, Digital Virtual X, Vertical Surround Engine. That's one of my favorite, just to let you know that. And um, it has a built-in subwoofer. In fact, two subwoofer drivers. All right. And the signature Sony S-Force Pro front surround. 4K, Bluetooth, HDMI. And the ARC, all right, you know that's better than the, the regular HDMI because it gives the highest quality sound output, all right. So if you're getting a TV or any audio equipment, make sure it has this feature. All right, so basically this is the box for it. I've done the unboxing already and um, it says it basically imitates or it gives you the feel that you're listening to a... 7.1.2 surround system in your home basically that's what you get from it especially when you activate the virtual surround engine all right um this is basically the box and i'm gonna show you what the actual song bar looks like now this is the song bar as you can see it's a brand from sony at the top of it, you can see some um, lights that basically lights up when different features are activated, when different connections are uh, uh, connected. All right, so it has a kind of metal grill at the front here. If you can see through well, there's a speaker here. I think these are the two subwoofers and there is a speaker on my right here. All right, it has a solid feel this is how the bottom of it looks all right it actually comes with a power adapter it it actually takes 12 volt but it comes with a power adapter so if you're living in a place like europe or the uk um, that's no issue because it can convert the 220 or whatever your voltage is to the um the 24 or 12 volts that it requires at the back of it let me just flip around there's some cool stuff about it as well now as far as the connection goes i don't know if you can see that there are two h um two h bmis this is the main one that goes uh, that connects to your tv so you can see it better let me look at that yeah that connects to your tv and just in case you have maybe a sony playstation or even an xbox you can connect the other um, hdmi right there and there is also, I don't know if you can see it, there is also a optical output right at the top there. All right, just in case you might want to hang this on a wall, mount it on a wall. It has the wall mount right here and right here. The power button, sorry, the power card goes right here. I'm not sure what this is for. I guess it's for the um, the infrared infrared signal from the remote control and i will also let you see what the remote control looks like it's pretty hefty i don't want to guess how much it weighs because i'm not good with these things but um i mean it's portable but carries a bit of weight let me show you what the control looks like so as you can see this is the control right here um there are different features on it these are preset um these are preset features so 
there is no way to um, adjust them in terms of a display that you can see on your television like you can how you can adjust a custom EQ you now all these are preset all right so that's the remote it's pretty good um, my hands are small but it, it fits pretty well in my hand also it comes with you know the regular manual I recommend that you do not throw away this manual because it will come in useful when you're actually setting it up and you're exploring the different features now this is basically a layout of um how to set it up all right the placement if you're gonna put it on a wall mount and and stuff uh you're connecting the hdmi how you do that and if you're connecting other devices so this is pretty cool as well it basically you know speed things up for you when you are connecting the hdmi so this is a keep up as well until you get that familiar with it until um you don't need it anymore but i'm gonna keep this around for a while because you never know i might sell it or whatever and then the new person can um set it up as easy as i did all right so it's basically plug and play and i'm gonna show you how i hook it up i have it on my 65 inch lg 4k tv all right i have it i was just watching um what is that movie that lord of the rings two towers yeah man this one right here sir the blu-ray i also have the samsung blu-ray can't remember exactly what model it is but i will do a review on this one some other time all right so what i'm going to do now it's basically hook it up and let you hear how it sounds all right it's hooked up um it's connected uh Find the best way to show you. Um, it has the virtual S activated and it's connected to the TV. I'm gonna switch it, switch it to HDMI. All right, so. That is it playing there right now. I don't know how much of it you can hear. I don't wanna show you the movie because you know these copyright issues, right? Now these are my two favorite features or uh, two Don't favorite settings, me. cinema, virtual S. Alright. Basically, if you look at the different parts of the manual, then it will tell you how to activate these different preset features and so forth. So you'll have to go through that. Now some of the things that I don't like about this. Is that there is no clear way to know when each feature is being activated like there is no on-screen display so you definitely have to work carefully with the manual let me just turn on the volume a bit so you can hear me you definitely have to work with the manual you know I would prefer that um, as you can see at the top here there is a feature where you can activate the Dolby Atmos and you can activate the DTSX. All right. I would personally prefer if, when they get the signal from the TV or another device, then they can come on automatically instead of me doing it manually. All right. You can recognize the signal and then Atmos will light up and DTS will light up. So I know that they're receiving those signals. Instead of me doing that for myself manually, I'll prefer that. All right. That's one of the things. That's one of my little. Um, pet peeves about it Another thing too that I don't like is if you unplug one of the HDMI at the back and You plug it in then it would not It would not just continue to work. You will have to shut off One of these devices. you will have to either shut this off or you have to shut off the DVD player I don't know if you would experience that technical issue as I did but even when I make an adjustment on the television setting where this song is concerned and I switch back to HDMI then I have to basically power over all these to get the song going again I, I don't like that I don't know if it's something that I am doing wrong or it's just one of the technical issues with um, the song bar or even this all right so I'm not too clear on that so I don't want to put all the blame on the song bar but basically it's really good 
the quality that comes out of it really good as i said my favorite my two favorite is the cinema let me get my zoom here is the cinema and the virtual s try this out the auto surround is also cool it gives a lighter sound but the cinema gives a more wraparound cinema effect all right i'm gonna turn this up a bit so you can get an idea i get a better feel when i'm standing or sitting close to it it has good bass decent bass i would say you can hear the left channel and you can hear the right channel clearly subwoofer is doing a great job as well all right so it's overall excellent performance i would say in my opinion there is bluetooth connectivity but there is no wi-fi all right so bear that in mind so just in case you might want to list music from your phone you can do that i can't do that right now because i'm actually recording with my phone so i can't uh, make this switch that easily but maybe a next time when i have a different recording device then you can hear how it sounds with the uh, the audio on my device through bluetooth I'm gonna switch to TV on my LG so you can see or hear the difference when I switch to television. No okay, I'm watching the Olympics. So you see, Leo yeah, Reed have to work really, really hard here. Don't tighten up, you know, stay relaxed but stay fast. It's this is a high def TV channel. I think Leon did well. Like so Leon it also gives good HD sound, as you can hear. Get back down towards that and see where that gets him. Because actually the 200 doesn't have the depth that yeah, sometimes it has. Yeah, yeah. And he could get towards top eight if he could get back towards that 20.2. So, yeah, he's a good championship runner. Fair play to him. He's gotten himself into... At various points during lockdown, so thank God the TV's on. We can put them in front of the TV. They can sit there and watch that video. All right, so basically that's it, guys. Ready for Tuesday's evening session at the track, which will include the finals of the women's 200 and 800 meters. Also coming up, the race of the game so far. It really is extraordinary. You have to stick around for it if you haven't seen it. In my opinion, it's definitely not a bad song by you get value for your money but there are a few things that i wish were a bit different overall the performance is excellent um connectivity is great except there is no wi-fi there's definitely bluetooth the front speakers the one on the left the one on the right they are producing good sounds i'm not sure about um the up firing songs to get the full Dolby effect. I'm not sure about that. I don't hear that much, but I do hear the surround on the left and also on the right. Subwoofers are doing an amazing job as well. All right, so that's, that's pretty decent enough for me. A lot better, 100% better than the original television speakers. All right, so would I recommend this? Definitely, I'll definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, so go it out. Go out. Check it out. It's the Sony HTX8500 Songbar. Check out the features in the comment section. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your subscription. Thanks for your support. I'm out.